Hello and welcome to Wandering Wanda. I'm Ariel and today I'm going to cover what I'm going to do after Fantasy RV Tours leaves us at Prince George. For the last two days I have been calling RV parks and campsites with sewer connection and at least a 30 amp hookup from Prince George to Calgary and it's taken two days because these RV parks do not pick up their phone call their phone I, I don't understand they're a place of business it's not like I'm calling an individual I mean, if I'm calling an individual your your right to pick up your phone is yours but if you're running a business in order to make it successful pick up the phone okay so that's taken two days just from Prince George to Calgary so now I need to start booking from Calgary back to Las Vegas and these are the campsites I have chosen Stratmore Recreation Campground at Stratmore Shelby RV Park in Shelby Montana but Butte Smells like butt. KOA Snake River RV Park and that's in Idaho Falls Lakeside RV Campground in Provo, Utah and Cedar City RV Park in Cedar City, Utah and lastly coming back to Vegas I will be staying at the Oasis Las Vegas RV Park since it's right next door to PH1 uh, for a couple of days just to wrap up the wrap up Wanda for RV storage okay hopefully these people actually pick up their phones I'm hoping they do but let's see what else do I want to talk about today oh for those of you okay I'm changing the format of what comes out in the videos Right now, it's just kind of haphazard Wednesdays and Saturdays. Since we're doing the Alaska trip starting mid-June, I'm probably going to do an Alaska video series that is just released on the Wednesday part. And then on Saturdays will be the continuation of me setting up Wanda and doing Airstream stuff. So Wednesday videos are going to be, I really don't know what to call it yet. It's not going to be RV reviews. And the stuff that we'll be doing during the, this voyage for 2019. I'm not doing park reviews. I don't want to do park reviews. I don't really, I don't really care for the amenities too much. I mean, I've got showers and I've got my bidet toilet. The reason why we got an RV is so we're not really camping, we're RVing, and I want to use my own facilities. Um, so what I'm thinking right now are RV park impressions, what <laughs> my take on it. And I can be a princess at times, even though I'm a queen, a big old queen, a little princess comes out now and then. Um, so it will be my take in regards to <laughs> what the RV parks are. Maybe short, it may not be complete, it probably will never be complete. A complete review because I'm not reviewing. <laughs> okay, let's see what else. I really don't know what this episode's about, so bear with me. Oh, postcards. For those of you who receive postcards from me it's gonna be a little bit of change up um, when I first started doing postcards in my original trip to Florida one of my knitting instructors asked me if I could send Mary a very dear friend a postcard now and then what I ended up doing is I sent her postcards and note cards almost every single day I'm gonna start tearing up here um, and back then 
my postcard list consisted of 30 people, which was one sheet of Avery 30, 3 by 10. So it was only 30 people that I sent postcards to. I'm now regularly sending out anywhere from 90 to 120 postcards. So I'm not going to be doing postcards or writing out the postcards this trip. I have gotten a stamp right here. It says Wandering Wanda on it. And I also made up labels that say YouTube on it. So what I will be doing, for those of you that receive postcards, you probably get this one, is I'm just going to do a YouTube label that says YouTube on it. Stamp it. Take the cover out. And we'll just say that. Wandering Wanda. Again, I've got too many postcards to be writing out stuff. I mean, I know my postcards have one word in it. But you know what? When you're doing 120 at a time, sometimes, it's just too much. So you'll get this with, your, with my label, and I will still sign them. Okay, so that's the postcards that you will be getting from the Alaska trip. See anything else? Nope, I can't think of anything else. Okay, wish me luck in calling these people back or these these RV sites. Hopefully they actually pick up their phones so I can make reservations. And this may this will take the whole day and I just cannot believe that making reservations takes the whole day. I don't know, maybe I would like to start a service. I don't know, I'm just thinking. Where maybe you call into a place or an 800 number and you tell them where you want to go from point A to point B and they do all the planning and then they email you the itinerary. You, you essentially tell them, oh, I want to go from Calgary to Las Vegas on Highway 15. I only want to drive so much and I want to arrive there by this time so tell me what time I have to leave. Make my reservation for me. I'm gonna do a two day and then a one day and then a two day and then a one day. I don't know. Right now I'm just thinking about it. Or this is what I would like. A service of some sort okay well thank you for hearing me ramble and rant and hope you got something out of this if not oh well I essentially wanted to tell you that I'm changing the format for this summer of how the videos are released so Wednesdays is gonna be what we're doing in our voyage and trip up north to Alaska and my impressions of some of the campsites not all i can't do all well maybe i, I don't know it depends I, I get lazy sometimes i know this about me and i may not want to leave the rv park or i may want to leave the rv park really early oh that could be an impression why i'm leaving the rv park early okay again thank you for watching continue watching or not doesn't really matter Okay, bye.